Michelle Obama has been laying strangely low for at least a couple of months, which has been nice for those who had enough of seeing her after eight solid years. It was only a matter of time before she resurfaced since the attention-loving former first lady can only be away from the spotlight for so long before the fear of being forgotten sets in. While she was in her self-imposed hiding she was apparently keeping herself busy with what she planned to do upon making her big debut. She's been finishing out her multi-million dollar memoir, in which she claims is the tell-all of her time in the White House, her marriage, motherhood, and life after. It's highly doubtful she's revealing any personal secrets people might actually care about, but want you to believe all that and more is in the book so you buy it. And she'll make more money. However, her book wasn't all she's debuting, she's got a strange new look to go with it. Her shocking new appearance was what got all the attention as she stepped out this week, leading to everyone with a camera quickly snapping pictures. People's general feelings for Michelle are wildly different just as her book reviews will undoubtedly be, and her appearance reactions were this week. Michelle stepped out in New York City on February 28 to promote herself and perhaps her book too. Pop Sugar didn't hold back their praise for her appearance that borderline as a strange, cringeworthy girl crush. Michelle Obama looks amazing in blue, and that's a fact. She stopped by the Kick Health event in NYC on February. 28 and spoke on stage while wearing a denim button-down with black slacks and shoes. The top wasn't your average business professional shirt, though. It featured oversized pocket details and a raw, frayed hemline, which gave the piece an edgy feel. Michelle then added her own stylish touch with a belt fastened by a silver ring. As you know, blue is a power woman color. Kate Middleton wears it all the time, and it also suits Michelle's personality perfectly. Just in case you didn't know. She wrote a new memoir called Becoming, out November. The former first lady has stayed busy with vacations and public appearances, which we simply can't get enough of. Read on to see Michelle's latest ensemble, then shop similar shirts. As long as the left is praising blue tops as exuding the of the power woman from within of the person wearing it, perhaps they missed these bold and powerful looks Melania donned in this specific color. What's most impressive? is that while Michelle had an entire tax-paid team of people dressing and prepping her, Melania does not and still comes out looking exceptionally classier and well-dressed than her predecessor. Her decisions to dress herself was her own choice to not waste hard-working Americans' money on something so frivolous. Additionally, liberal designers refused to participate in her styling, which seems to be a benefit for the beauty especially by comparison to what Michelle wore while in the White House. It's rather grotesque to compare this woman to royalty assimilating her in the class people who espouse and elegance that Michelle will never know, all for the fact that she wore a primary color. It's actually an insult to the beauty and person that Princess Kate Middleton is to assimilate her to Michelle, but I digress. While we don't expect everyone to have the same taste in people, fashion, or anything else, the reactions to what Michelle wore were grossly over the top, as to prove something to her detractors. This strange response to a rather average blue top begs the question of how come her look is so well received when whatever our current, exceptionally classy and fashionable first lady, Melania Trump, steps out in anything, she's raked over the coals for it. In Melania's case, it even goes beyond criticism of her look someone might, pretend, to not like and crosses over into personal accusations and character attacks. It sure seems like an obvious case of junior, high jealousy of picking on the pretty girl to make you or your friend feel better. However, at this level, it's for political gain, divisiveness, and is to an intent to create animosity toward our administration and their spouses. If fashion bloggers were really intent on keeping to their content type, then they would praise Melania's style in their writing if looking at the best-dressed first ladies. Same with designers who see a muse in Michelle for their wares, but want nothing to do with Melania. There's no comparison and proves that if you really want quality fashion advice, it's best to side with Melania than Michelle and or anyone responsible for her look.